you are unlikely to ever see one. But while enjoying a countryside stroll, you could be just footsteps away from England's only venomous snake, the adder. But far from posing a threat to the public, scientists are worried that adder numbers in England are declining and they fear that these smaller populations could lead to genetic defects and even local extinctions. But one man who has no trouble spotting these secretive serpents is Nigel Hand. He's been observing snakes in the wild all his life and is now collecting vital DNA data by swabbing adders across England. The DNA swabs that Nigel collects will form part of a vital research study into adder populations being carried out by ZSL, Natural England and Oxford University. We went out with him to an adder site in the Mulvans to see the expert adder catcher in action. Um, they're going to be in the sun, in these little open pockets really. Um, I think one of the dangers we have as well today is, can you see my shadow going ahead of me? You don't want to cast your shadow over the, uh, the area that you're looking at. So it's looked both sides as well. Really, really being quiet as we walk along the edge. Hey. Got one. Yeah. We're actually trying to take some of the cells off the, uh, the, the vent lining really. Um, and that gives us our sort of DNA sample. Got the swab together. Just put a little note on, on where the snake was located. Uh, sex, female. We're going to measure her next, so I need my tube. Right, I want to get to coax her head into here. Scientists believe the decline in adders is down to the disappearance, degradation and fragmentation of habitat, resulting in smaller and more isolated populations of this enigmatic reptile. And they say the preservation of the adder population is essential. Any aspect of biodiversity is important because biodiversity is a web or a pyramid. And if you start knocking too many pieces out of the puzzle, you can see severe destabilizations of that biodiversity network that any species is, is a part of. Uh, we don't have any direct evidence what the removal of adders would do, but why take the risk if, if, if you don't have to? It's better to have increased biodiversity. It's better to have a broad range of species filling all sorts of different roles in biodiversity, being prey items, being predators. All these different species act as buffers so that if, if you remove enough of them, you could end up with a bit of a problem in terms of species diversity. And that matters to us. We need to exist in this world as well. And if we don't have good species diversity buffering the environment, we can suffer the same sorts of fates that other species are experiencing right now. Whilst the scientific procedure is risk-free for the snakes, experts like Nigel will take every safety precaution necessary to avoid being bitten. So it's best to leave adder catching to the professionals and not try this at home.